Welcome back everyone. In this video, we will learn about dealing with headers in route handlers. Let's start by understanding headers in general. HTTP headers represent the metadata associated with an API request and response. This metadata can be classified into two categories. First, we have request headers. These are sent by the client, such as a web browser, to the server. They contain essential information about the request, which helps the server understand and process it correctly. For example, we have the user agent header, which identifies the browser and operating system to the server. It is often used for browser-specific content rendering and analytics. We have the accept header, which indicates the content types like text, video, or image formats that the client can process. It enables the server to deliver the resource in a format suitable for the client. Another common request header is the authorization header used by the client to authenticate itself to the server. It carries credentials allowing controlled access to resources. Second, we have response headers. These are sent back from the server to the client. They provide information about the server and the data being sent in the response. An example is the content type header, which indicates the media type of the response. It tells the client what the data type of the returned content is, such as text slash HTML for HTML documents or application JSON for JSON data, etc. When defining route handlers in Next.js, it is important to understand how to read request headers and send back response headers. Let's head over to VS Code to understand this. Let's make use of the profile API route we had created earlier. I'm going to create a new request with the Thunder Client extension. The URL is http localhost 3000 slash profile slash API. By default, the request has two headers, accept and user agent. Let's add a third one, authorization. We can set the value to a bearer token. Bearer, 12345. Now, how do we read these headers in our route handler? Well, there are two ways. The first one is using the request parameter. At the top, import type next request from next slash server and specify the parameter with its type. Within the handler function, we use the headers web API to extract the request headers. So const request headers is equal to new headers and we pass in request.headers. In the next line, we can use the get method on request headers and log the authorization header to the console. Request headers dot get. The name of the header is authorization. If we go back to Thunder Client and resend the request from Thunder Client, in the terminal, we should see our bearer token. Bearer. One, two, three, four, five. While this first approach works completely fine, you can also choose to use the headers function that Next.js provides. At the top, import headers from next slash headers. And then within the function body, we invoke the headers function and store the result in a constant. We then access the authorization header using the get method and log it to the console. Header list dot get authorization. Open the terminal, switch to Thunder Client tab, and send the request. We see the bearer token logged twice in the terminal. This is how you read headers from the incoming request. Next, let's see how to set outgoing headers. What you should know is that headers returned from the headers function are read only. To set headers, 
you need to return a new response with the new headers. Let me show you an example. If you were to access slash profile slash API route in the browser, we see the text profile API data. If we take a look at the network tab, the response header has content type text slash plain. So if we were to wrap this response string in an h1 tag and refresh, we see the same in the browser. However, if we change the content type header to text slash HTML, so second argument, headers, which is an object, content type, text slash HTML, and refresh the browser, you can see the UI is now different and we have our H1 styled text. The client, which is the browser, renders the content differently based on the response header. But the key takeaway is that to set headers, you need to return a new response with new headers. Using request and response headers, you can apply any logic you want to within the route handler. All right, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.